Women of a certain age, they do often struggle with the aggravating body issues that can accompany menopause. Like Melly, who has developed a hate, hate relationship with the dreaded M-word. Hi, Dr. Lisa. I've been having symptoms of early menopause for the last three years, and I've tried natural solutions, but guess what? They don't work. I never considered hormone therapies before, but I'm wondering if they're the way to go to keep my symptoms under control. Any advice? Welcome and thank you to Melly for your question. What type of symptoms have you been having? I've been having hot flashes at night, trouble sleeping, and massive mood swings. Okay, now that could even be PMS, all right? Are you still having periods? No, I stopped three and a half years ago. Okay, have you had your hormone levels checked? I have not, no. Okay, because actually before, and how old are you? I'm 43. Okay, so you're saying actually it happened around 40 or maybe a little bit before. Exactly, yeah. All right, so anything before 40, we actually call premature ovarian failure, and it's actually not menopause. Okay. You actually have to find out why it's happening. So you, we check the hormone levels, because a lot of times thyroid problems can mimic this, even things, and not to scare you, things okay. like pituitary tumors can also m mimic these things. We put this under the category of amenorrhea, or not having your periods, okay? okay? Now, just for the sake of, of this conversation, say it was the M word, as you say, menopause. And what you have to realize is it's a way of looking at it. Menopause is not a disease, it's not a problem, it's a natural process. And menopause actually means when you stop your period for a year, Okay. okay. After if there's that time when your hormones are, are at the right place, and that usually the average age is about 50 to 51. Prior to that time is perimenopause. You could consider almost any woman over 35. Listen up, ladies, because it may freak you out. In perimenopause, okay, because okay. what it means is that the estrogen levels are falling, the ovaries are starting to sputter a little bit. They're not doing their job. Now, hormone replacement therapy that only starts after when you're in menopause, because once you're having periods then it's about contraception, because contraception and hormone replacement are the have the same hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Now, the other thing that happens with menopause, though, is sometimes the testosterone goes down as well, and we need to supplement that. That's where a lot of women have heard about this thing called pellet therapy. So let me show you how the pellet works, all right? Because this is a great new thing that people are, or that women are looking at, and actually men as well. Now, it's usually placed in the hip, so we make a little sterile area right around the hip and we give a little local lidocaine to numb that area. Then we place a tro we make a little incision there and then we place a trocar, which is a little hollow tube that has the medication in it. We put the little pellets into the trocar and depending on the dosage will depend on how many pellets go in there. And they're placed subcutaneously, so underneath that first layer. And again, depending on the number of dosages there are, uh, pellets, will give you different dosage. And that puts out a sustained release of estrogen and testosterone. And again, this is just estrogen and testosterone. You will need a different form of progesterone to balance out the uterus, because the uterus has to be protected. So okay. very complicated as it, as it is. And that's why you have to consult with your gynecologist. And you have to see your gynecologist regularly around this time, because this is the time that breast cancers come up, medical diseases come up. Um, uterine cancer, cervical cancer, that's why you need your pap smears, all these things to continue. Okay. Right? So you're going to okay. go see your doctor. I will. I promise. Thank you very yeah. much. Now, the only thing about that we do have to preface about the pellet is it is made by a compounding pharmacy. And there are compounded hormones. It's not necessarily natural. You can get natural FDA pharmaceutical hormones as well. But the compounded ones, you have to be careful of knowing which pharmacy you go to because they're not FDA regulated and there have been some you know, instances with infections and fungal meningitis. So you do have to be very careful about compounded um, hormone replacement therapy. Just make sure you know your compounding um, pharmacy. We're not saying this is a bad thing at all because they can actually give you dosages which may not be available in the pharmacies. It sounds like it's time to make a phone call. I right? will, I promise, thank you. Thank you for coming on.